Well, look, Ash, we've been told by police here on the ground who have been managing traffic that this is George Pell, that he was only a few moments away, and here he is behind us getting what will be his first chance at freedom. After 404 days behind bars, this is George Pell, Australia's most senior Catholic, once the third most powerful man in the world, and today a man who woke up as a convicted sex offender. But now, now his name has been cleared by Australia's highest legal avenue, the High Court, unanimously deciding that he should walk free, that the jury got it wrong, that the Victorian Court of Appeals got it wrong, that he should did not have the evidence there to be convicted. And you can see just there behind us going out now. It's almost a bit of a surreal feeling to tell you, Ash, when you think that this is one of the cases that the world is watching, which will go down as one of Australia's most significant legal cases. And yet here we are outside a regional prison uh, in regional Victoria with just a throng of media here. Of course, not the scenes we've seen throughout the rest of the case, given when there was international media here as well, but such is the nature of these times that it's a throng of local media here to see George Pell released from prison to get that first take of freedom. Now, he was due to release a statement outside uh, the prison, but then that decided not to go ahead due to safety concerns. He, of course, released that statement earlier today, uh, accepting the unanimous decision and saying that it really cleared him of the crime that he did not commit, but also saying he didn't have any ill will towards the accusers, that there's been enough bitterness and that he wants to move forward. Uh, also thanking the many supporters that he's had who have uh, been with him throughout this entire journey, particularly his legal team, who we understand were here at the prison with him this morning when that decision came through from the High Court of Australia, Ash.